particle physics and we are going to end up with supers. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not smart enough to talk about particle physics, but maybe I can do some interesting talk about supers. Now, people talk about energy a lot these days, uh, especially sustainable, renewable energies. And people look at different sources of energy, like from solar to complicated nuclear to tidal, geothermal, and all forms of energy. But one source that not most people think about is like beneath our foot, source. Now, for example, US, in the US alone, we spend about 4% of the total electric output to pump water, to pump water from the dams to our kitchen tap. Now, after you open your kitchen tap, what happens to all the energy? It literally goes down the drain, right? So now the question is, can we get it back? How to get, get it back? Now, what is 4% means? For US, if you look at the numbers, it's billions of kilowatt hours. That's, I don't know what that means, but it's a lot of energy, right? <laughs> now, <laughs> so how can we get that energy back? How much can we get it back? That's the question that, that we try to answer. Now, if you're going to tap the energy from sewers using the flowing water, take the energy that is present in form of kinetic energy, and convert it to electricity. That's so obvious. Now, the question is, where do we take it up? Now, we cannot tap the energy from any part of the sewer. Now, each sewer is designed to have a minimum grade so that there is a flow, um, a continuous flow in the sewer system. Now, if you take the energy out, the water may not be able to flow, right? So we won't be able to take any way we want. And other issue with taking energy from sewer is sewer is not a clean environment. It's not a, a particle physics lab. Right? It is a really messy place. And if you put a, a turbine, a paddle wheel, within two hours you will see it's going to get plugged up. Right? So you need a person right on top of a sewer to go and clean it up. Right? Every two hours go and clean up the turbine wheel. That's not going to work. Right? Now, the best place we thought is sewer drops. So what are sewer drops? Now, these are sewer drops. Now, sewer drop is a place where sewer drops from higher elevation to lower elevation. Now, <clears throat> for example, what you're seeing here is an advanced kind of a, a sewer drop called as water drop structures. Now, when you let water fall on a concrete basement, it, it's going to corrode or eat away, tear apart the concrete wall. So they have a lot of problem in maintaining this basement. So they came up with a, a new way uh, of drop structures called as water drop structures. Now, these drop structures are designed not only to protect this concrete basement, but also keep the bad smell in the sewage from coming out. Now, here is the problem. So you have so much energy, and the energy is the potential is so much that it's tearing apart the concrete basement. Now, why can't we take it out and it do something useful? Right? Now, that's what we try to do. Now, how big are these drop structures? Now, they range from a few inches to about 10 foot diameter. Now, think about a 10 foot diameter uh, pipe carrying millions of water, gallons of water a day. Right? That's like an urban waterfall. Now, for example, in the city of New York, they have a 10 foot diameter uh, drop structure, and the height could be about 300 foot tall. So millions of gallons of water falling down 300 foot drop, that is like a mini waterfall. Now, now here, in this picture here, we can see this is a, a huge drop structure, and these are people installing that structure. Here is a video <coughs> of a small drop structure, an 8 inch drop structure, supposed to play, um, with water really going at tremendous velocity into the structure. I'm not sure if it's going to play or not, but if it plays, you will see it is, the water is, is going to create tremendous amount of pot, uh, kinetic potential. Now, this is what we try to, uh, we tried to extract the kinetic energy out of that sewer system. 
So what we did, we, our technology, we call it as electrical vortex. Oops. We call it electric vortex, where we took a piece of the uh, sewer pipe out and replaced it with uh, a novel turbine and built an electrical generator around it. <coughs> Very simple idea, but the neat thing about this idea is we have all the infrastructure in place. We have the sewer system where water flows 24-7. And only thing that we have to do is just go and take a small section of the pipe out and stick our turbine into that uh, place. Now, the design is such that it is a self-cleaning design. So nothing will clog, clog the turbine. Now, in the next video, I'm going to show you a small laboratory prototype uh, that we built. So we're going to play. I'm not sure it's going to play. But it's a small prototype uh, that that's working in our lab, where we have about 10 liters per second of water going through that uh, drop structure, and you have we have the generator right there, and it is it produces enough energy to light up a small bulb. Now imagine if you put the same structure in a 10 foot diameter um, sewer drop. It's going to produce significant amount of energy. I'm not sure how much it's going to produce, but I would say sewer energy from sewer is not going to be solving our energy crisis, but what we can do is take the energy from sewers and make the sewer self-sustainable. Use the energy from sewers to clean the wastewater. Let's see if we can make it play. Um, if it plays, it's going to be really like a cool video. <laughs> um, okay, so I'm going to end, end up here. Thanks.